Dear CG thinkers, welcome. In this video, I answer to your question of the week. To change the profile of the handle, if you follow the tutorial, you understand this is the main node for that because this node allows us to change this result to this result and this enter is the circle, the circle which is used as profile along the curve. So if you want a square result, we will use a quadrilateral node, okay, and connect it in the enter of the curve to mesh node instead of the curve cycle. And I have this result, uh, just reduce these inputs to have something better. You can reuse the same value than the radius and yes that work so the question is how you can do to be able to choice to switch between two profiles and as i said we want to switch so just search a switch node okay and by default i want this one i place the switch here um, and the second input for the quadrilateral and as you can see depend of the switch value but you can change the profile so now i will simply connect this switch to group input and now here i can change the profile okay so the next question is okay i can change the profile of the handle but about the fixation uh, for the fixation, you can use the same principle, but this time instead of use cylinder, we will use cube. So search a cube node like this and use it instead of the cylinder. Okay, the first result is not exactly what we want. So where is the problem? The problem is the size. Okay, so how I will be able to drive this size? Uh, I will use a combine XYZ node, okay? And about X and Y, this is the same value than the radius, okay? Um, for X and Y. And about the Z value, it's exactly the same than depth. So use thickness and bam, it's okay. And one more time, because we want to be able to switch, I will use a switch node. So I will use this one here and connect mesh output to through input and the switch is perfect. Connect it again with the group input and you have a second switch here and you can change the shape of this one. This one change thickness, radius, and everything works fine. Yes, it's quite complicated just to make an handle, uh, but the question is not how to make an handle, but the handle is uh, a, good, um, a good thing just to work and practice geometry nodes. I want that people just try geometry node and start to use it. So, I don't want to start with a very complex and uh, hard subject or topics uh, because everyone will just stop <laughs> the tutorial and will never start to use geometry node. Uh, so it's just a good practice topics more than geometry node is the good way to make an handle. Wax made this model uh, after the tutorial and he submits this uh, model to me because as you can see, we have a shading problem. Uh, it's absolutely awful, Ugh, horrible. So where is the problem? The problem is around joint geometry nodes. Uh, if you check the output of the Boolean operation, Everything is okay, no problem at all. If you check the joint geometry here, for this part of the model, everything is okay. But if you join 
these two parts together, we have this shading error. Don't ask to me why, but I think the solution, it was absolutely random. If you check this link, you can see it's not the first input of the joint geometry. And magic, boom, no problem at all. So one more time, I don't know why, but if you connect this, if you change the order of the connection on the joint geometry nodes, you don't have the same result. Here, the question is how to use this image to mask and display some materials only on each area. For example, I want this one only on the red part, uh, this material only on the green part or this material only on the blue part. And so how to use this image for that? Uh, the, the tricks is to use a separate color node. This node will be able to separate each channel color and make black and white image that you will be able to use as mask for the mix layer. So for example, if I use the red output in the mask input of the mix layer, I have this result. If I connect green into the next mask input, I have this result. So it's a good idea uh, to use this kind of image to distribute some materials. And this is how you can use it with separate color. That's it for my answers of your questions of the week. Do not hesitate to let your question uh, in comment below. I will answer to some of them every two weeks. See you next time for the next video. And don't forget, we get tired of everything except learning. Bye bye.